Assalamu alaikum dear students this is Arif Aziz your English teacher today I have brought to you the second chapter of English textbook for grade 12 uh, that is Jinnah's version of Pakistan uh, this uh, chapter comprises of three videos in the first video I will record the summary of the chapter and in the second video I'll record the explanation of the text uh, that is the reading and in the third video I will solve all the questions of the exercise so let's start the summary or the introduction of Jinnah's version of Pakistan it is the historical speech of Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah the founding father of Pakistan which he delivered to the constituent assembly of Pakistan on 11th August 1947 when Pakistan came into being, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, soon to be the Governor General of the newly established state, decided to address the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan to give his vision. In this speech, he spoke his mind to the Constituent Assembly about its responsibilities and duties. The first duty of the Assembly according to Qaid Azam is to frame the future constitution of Pakistan. It is the most responsible and gravest task assigned to the assembly. The second task of the assembly is to act as complete, independent and sovereign body as the federal legislature of Pakistan. He warned the nation while addressing the constituent assembly about the evils of bribery and corruption and according to Qaid, India excels in these social evils. He warned that he will not tolerate any kind of nepotism, jobbery and corruption in practice, low or high, and directed the assembly to take certain steps to eliminate these evils. He mentioned the people who were against the division of India and told that any question of the United India would lead us to a terrific disaster. Therefore, we should act honorably and abide by the agreement which is now final. The division of India is not an ordinary division. It is mighty, unprecedented and unparalleled. Qaid Azam then told the Constituent Assembly that if they want to make Pakistan great and prosperous, then they should act upon the golden principles of unity, faith and discipline. We should live as a united nation and there is no Punjabi, Sindhi, Pathan amongst us. We are only Pakistani. In the same way, there is no Shia, Sunni, Brahmins, Vaishnavas, Katris, Bengalis, Madrasis. We are the equal citizens of this state. We should live in a disciplined manner as a Pakistani. The difference between Muslims and Hindus would soon finish in the political sense. We are all the equal citizens of this state irrespective of the faith, color and creed. We are now free. You are now free. You are free to go to your mosques, temples or any place of worship. The state has nothing to do with the personal faith of the people. He ended his speech by saying that his guiding principles will be justice and complete impartiality. So dear students, this was the introduction of the second chapter of English textbook for grade 12. And for uh, explanation of the chapter, I will record another video. I hope the summary or introduction of the chapter will help you to understand the text of Jinnah's version of Pakistan. I thank you all for watching the video. Take care until next time.